Hey everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself, Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So what do we have in store in this video for you? The very first thing that we are going to discuss about the first Indian who has entered the list of honorary members of International Astronomical Union. Also, we will be discussing about the harvest agriculture festivals of some of the tribes that have been recently celebrated. Along with this, we will also be discussing about a committee that has been formed by the government of India in order to double the production of handlooms or the textiles in India and quadruple the exports of textiles in the next three years. So all of this is there in this video. So your responsibility is to watch this video till the end. Okay, so let's begin. But before that, if you haven't subscribed, then you can subscribe our channel and hit the bell notification and you can also join this telegram group. Here you will get the PDF of this session and the link of this group is in description below. So the very first question is who has become the first and the only Indian to enter the honorary member list of the International Astronomical Union. So recently 11 members from different different countries have been included in the list of honorary members by the International Astronomical Union and out of all these 11 people one is an Indian and that Indian is the answer of this question. So the answer is Dorje Angchuk. So he is basically a Ladakh based engineer and he has become the first Indian and the only Indian at the present moment because a total number of 20 honorary members are there in IAU, International Astronomical Union and out of those 20 members only Dorje Enchung is the Indian and this is the first time that he has been uh, given or an Indian has been given this accolade. Okay. So I hope that you have understood this much. So now let us have a look at the personality of this person, not the personality, but the professional background of this person. And let's understand something about this organization as well. Okay, so related to Dongje and Chuk, the things that you need to remember are the very first thing is this only that he's the only Indian and the first Indian to become the honorary member. Now guys do remember there are more than 12,000 members of this International Astronomical Union and out of those 12,000 individual members a lot of Indian members are already there. But this is the first time that honorary member an Indian has got the accolade of being the honorary member of this IAU. And I have already told you that 20 members are the honorary members at present. Next is that he currently works at Indian Institute of Astrophysics, which is in Bangalore. And this institution is the autonomous institution under the Department of Science and Technology. Now, as part of this, as part of his working at the IIA, he has been given the charge of the Indian Astronomical Observatory, which is owned by this institution only. And this observatory is in Hanle. Ladakh. So he is at present the engineer at this observatory. Okay. Now this point is not important because this is for your understanding. Why is this honorary member accolade is given to the individuals? So it is given to recognize their significant contributions towards the uh, progress towards the work of spreading the astronomical research and culture in their own countries. Okay. So that was all about Dorje and Anchuk that you need to. No, now let us look at the International Astronomical Union as well. Founded in 1919, it is hosted by the Institute of the Astrophysique de Paris in France. So it is in Paris, France and this is the institution of, which hosts the Secretariat of Institutional uh, International Astronomical Union. Members are more than 13,000 from 82 national members including 82 national members and it also includes India as well. So India is also a member of this in in International Astronomical Union. President is Debra Malloy Emil Green. So she is the president of this organization at present and the purpose of this is to promote the science of astronomy in all its aspects be it the research, be it the spreading of the study of astronomy. So all of these aspects are covered by this International Astronomical Union. Very basic it is. 
the next point is that this iau is also responsible for assigning names to stars planets asteroids and so on so all of the names that we give to the celestial bodies are approved by this iau so i hope that this organization is clear to you now so let's move on to the next question where has the world health organization established its first of its kind who hub for pandemic and epidemic intelligence so guys this first of all is the first of its kind hub that has been established by who and from the name itself it is very evident that the purpose of this hub is to inform gather information about the emerging epidemics or the diseases that have the potential of becoming an epidemic and then inform the same about the countries where the epidemic is being emerged and take quick actions in order to control that epidemic so these are the functions of this uh, who hub for pandemic and epidemic intelligence now where is it located so out of the options as you can see there are cities mentioned here the right answer is berlin now let us have a look at this hub in detail so the exact location is kreisberg berlin germany do remember that as well okay because nowadays the examiner tends to go into too much detail so therefore i'm saying that it will be beneficial on your part only that if you remember this exact location of this first of its kind who hub for epidemic intelligence okay so this i have already explained this is already explained this point is important that germany is providing the initial investment of us dollar 100 million to the hub and dr chikwe ikwazu who is at present the director general of nigeria center for control disease has been appointed to lead this hub so he has been appointed as a chair of this hub so do remember chikwe ikwazu next is who has also signed an mou with robert koch institute which is a government agency of the german government to support the work of the hub and rki's expert that is robert koch institute's expert uh, experts will work at the hub as part of this mou so that was all that is important for your phase 1 ga and i hope that you can remember all these facts and do remember his name because he is the first president or the chair to lead this organization with which countries av zirminski national scientific center of marine biology has india's csir national institute of oceanography signed an mou for cooperation in the field of marine biology marine ecology and blue economy so first of all let me tell you that this is in goa this national institute of oceanography and this has partnered with this institution which belongs to the government of russia so basically this institution is in russia now the purpose of this engagement is very clear from the question itself that is research collaborative research in the field of marine ecology marine biology and blue economy now which area is it uh, is this mou covering so the area is indian ocean region the pacific region and the polar region so almost entire region is covered through this mou now guys in the indian ocean region the research will be conducted outside the exclusive economic zone of india okay so exclusive economic zone is the zone is the 200 nautical miles from the land of the country in the sea i hope that you know this thing so this is the economic exclusive economic zone of every country so the research under this mou will be conducted outside that eez of india the second peculiar thing about this mou is that this mou will focus on building the capacity or the human resources in the field of marine biology collaborative research will help the experts involved in the research to increase their knowledge to increase their capacity so that would be another aspect of this mou so i hope that you would remember this mou better now and now let's move on to the next question solong festival is primarily an agro based festival which is celebrated by a tribe 
named Adi tribe. Do remember this tribe celebrates this Solong festival. The Solong festival is performed after the sowing of seeds and transplantation to seek future bumper crops. This festival is celebrated in the first week of September. The celebration is continued for five consecutive days. The first day is called Solong Giddy Dogin. Second is the main day which is known as Doref Long. Third day is Binyat Binam. Fourth day is Yoktar of Ekof. So these are the different names assigned to the to each of the days of this of this festival. And the fifth day is the priest send off day. So where is the festival celebrated? So this festival is celebrated in Arunachal Pradesh and this tribe also belongs to Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. So the other way around the question can be framed is that Adi tribe belongs to which state? So you should know that it belongs to Arunachal Pradesh. And apart from this, every information related to the Solon festival has been provided in the question itself that it is a five day festival it is an agro agriculture festival pre-harvest festival so that they can expect bumper crops in the future so all of this is related to Solon festival and important for your upcoming nabad examination Who is the head of the eight member committee formed by the central government for increasing the production and exports of handlooms in three years, in the coming three years? So Sunil Sethi, Shoaib Samad, Arun Shirvasta, Varke, Suman, Surendra Kumar are in the options out of which Sunil Sethi is the right answer. So he is the president, sorry, chairman of Fashion Design Council. He is the present chairman of this council and he has been appointed by the government of India as the chairman of this committee. Now guys on the national handloom day. So this is your question. When do we celebrate the national handloom day? So on this day, the government of India or basically the ministry of textile announced to increase the production or basically double the production of textiles in India. So the target is 1.25 lakh crore. So the production of textiles will be increased to 1.25 lakh crores from the present 60,000 crores in India. Okay, in the next three years and precisely for this purpose, for achieving this target, this committee has been formed. Now doubling the exports and sorry, doubling the production and quadrupling the export. So the export target is rupees 10,000 crores. in opposition to the present export. So presently we export approximately or to be precise rupees 2500 crores worth of textile and this is expected to be increased to 10,000 crores in the next three years based on the recommendations of this committee. So this committee is very important as well as these targets because they have been announced very recently. Your task is to tell me the date of this day. So here this question ends. Next question is which tribe celebrates Wanchua festival which is a harvesting festival in Kirby and Long district of Assam. So which tribe celebrates this festival? You have Thai, Fake, Tiva, Kirby, Mishing, Diori. So all of these tribes belong to Assam only. The right answer here is Tiva. So this festival Manchua festival is celebrated by the Tiva tribe which is a scheduled commercial tri scheduled tribe of Assam okay the next thing is that Tiva is also known as Lalung okay so this is another name of the Tiva uh, Tiva tribe now this tribe is found in three more states Manipur Mizoram Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. So this tribe is found in all of these states. Okay, but this festival, this Vanchua festival is celebrated in this Kirby Anglong district of Assam. Okay, so that was all about this Vanchua festival and about this tribe. Do remember the other name of this tribe, Lalu. Okay. 
सो गाइज दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर टूडे आई होप दैट यू हैव एन्जॉयड द वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग इट